Hi, I'm Taylor Wells. Welcome to Prana Power TV. So today I'm here with Ray Mucci, fabulous Prana Power Yoga studio coordinator extraordinaire and the best yoga teacher in Boston. 2000 and what year was that? 10. 2010. I'm so Runner proud of that. Up, by the way. Oh, that's not the way I see it. <laughs> and we're going to just ask Ray a few questions today. So everyone wants to know, Ray, how and when and where did you start your yoga practice? Well, it was uh, several years ago. I was living in South Boston. I had just um, eaten three slices of pizza. Right, so anyway, I was injured from running, constantly complaining about it to a friend of mine. She kept saying to me, you gotta try yoga, you gotta try yoga. It's like, yeah, 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 okay, 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 whatever. So she catches me sitting on the sidewalk after eating three slices of pizza and uh, just grabs me and says, you're coming right now to this class. And we went up took the class and uh, it was wonderful, I loved it, except for the sensation of the pizza trying to come back out. <laughs> By the way, hint number one, when you begin your yoga practice, it's best to practice on a slightly empty stomach. How did you decide to become a yoga teacher? I didn't decide to become a teacher until I started doing it. I did the prana teacher training mostly because I wanted to learn more about practice and I was absolutely loving doing it and um, I didn't decide that I wanted to teach until I had actually tried it a few times and had a couple opportunities to teach and found that I loved doing it. Can I tell them the funny the funny teacher training story? Sure. All right. All right you're gonna love this. So about a quarter of the way through Ray's teacher training year he was over at our house and he said Taylor I have to talk to you about something. I said, all right. So we went out into the backyard, the pink house, remember that? In the yard, and uh, Ray started telling me all these reasons why he was going to quit the training. And I listened to him. I'm a good listener. I like to talk, but I'm also a good listener. I listened, and I listened, and I listened. And I just saw in Ray this amazing teacher. And my spirit said, no, no. So I said, oh, you're going to finish. You're going to finish this training. And he said, I am. And I said, yeah, you are. And he did. And now he's the best yoga teacher in Boston, 2000 and <laughs> 10. Runner up. Runner up. <laughs> anyway, I'm so proud. So proud of Ray. And I wanted to ask Ray today what his favorite yoga pose is. We don't uh, rehearse any of this, by the way, in case you haven't noticed. What is your favorite <laughs> yoga pose? What is it? I, I always feel like anyone's favorite yoga pose should be something that speaks to them in their own body and for me lately it's anything that stretches the, um, the hip flexors and quadricep muscles so variations of lunges are what I prefer in my own practice. Bring it on, let's see a lunge! A wonderfully deep stretch of the hamstring, uh, the quadricep. It's so intense. You know what's nice too is to go into half pigeon, do a similar move, and come into king pigeon. Can you work with that, or is it too much right now? That's too much for him. Yeah, yeah, that's too much for him right now. That's one of my faves. But I love what Ray said about how your favorite pose can change and kind of. I mean, there are no shoulds at all. Um, but it's nice when things change because you're really going with the flow. Nice, I love it. Thanks, Ray. We love Ray. We love all Ray does. And see you soon at Prana Power Yoga. This is Prana Power TV. Have the best day ever. Namaste.